listen to the floor. Hello. Welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at a pen that was uh, lent to me to do a review on by one of my uh, pen buddies, Steve, who lives in a town next door to mine. Uh, he bought this pen when he was uh, vacationing in Europe. He bought it in France, and that's where the company is from. The box is branded. It's a wooden box. It's all the markings on the box. But what's nice is the box is more than just a box to protect the pen. It's also a way to display the pen on your desk. Excellent design. You know, it's nice to have a functional case, and this works that way. We take a look at the pen. I mean, it's an attractive pen. It's not lightweight. We'll show you that weight. Um, the design, I think, is very German or Swiss in the design. The wood barrel here is done very nicely. We have some branding on the back of the cap. And right away you notice that this is the same dimension as straight cap, straight barrel. It's reduced a little bit here for posting. Uh, just a clean finial. This is extremely clean design. Very functional, fairly stiff clip there. Pull off cap, pulls off very easily. You can see how it separates so those bands stay with the barrel. It has an interesting unique section, not one I've seen before. And it comes with a Schmidt nib, which from my previous experiences have been very good, you know, similar to Yovo or Bach. You know, a classic uh, plastic feed. I'm certain it comes with the nib when they buy that assembly. It fits okay in the hand, unposted, but it does post easily and very securely, but makes for a very long pen. It doesn't change the balance much, for so those of you that like to post, this would work for you. So I did some research on uh, Oberthu, Oberthru. Um, I'll never be able to pronounce it properly. So my first response is, is they're like Levengers. They're a stationary store. They do calendars. And they also sell fountain pens. Here's their website. They seem to specialize in certain types of wood designs. Uh, they seem to also specialize in having a case that's functional. So that's uh, what's nice about them. So overall, I think it's a classy looking pen. I think uh, Steve said he paid about 30 euros for it. So I think that's a reasonably expected price for a very well-made pen with some very high quality materials in it. So let's put this nib to paper and see how it writes. It's a nice nib. It's a nice classic medium nib. Uh, I don't know what the ink is. Uh, Steve didn't tell me and I didn't ask. But as you can see it lays down it's pretty wet. I mean it writes like a great German steel nib. Uh, not much you can say about that. It requires no pressure to write. I'm not exactly a fan of this section because that slope that slopes down to the nib kind of puts your fingers down there and it's a very, very th small section down there. So this is probably where they want you to hold it, but then you feel this pretty decent step up, 
which is one of the challenges with all pens that are designed with that streamlined look where the cap and the barrel are the same outer dimension, you're always going to have a step like that. Um, so I don't think it's the most comfortable pen to write with, but I like the design, I like the materials, uh, I think the case is cool. So if you're traveling around France and you have to go to a stationery store, I definitely think you should look up Oberthru. I don't think you're going to find anything distributed. There's nothing on eBay. Um, searches don't find a lot. They seem to be pretty much localized uh, in France. So uh, I thank Steve for letting me uh, show you this interesting uh, pen. Thank you for watching. May you have many great writing experiences. Explore the phenomenal variety of, of writing instruments that are available to us from many different countries. Enjoy every day and enjoy all of them. Bye.